everyone, it's Imogen and welcome back to Colouring Kid. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video I'm going to be sharing my haul for the month of June and I have quite a few things to share with you because um, I've done quite a lot this month. Um, at the beginning of the month, well the end of May, beginning of June we were in Devon and there are so many lovely shops in Devon. Um, and then I have took a couple of trips up to London, um, I've been to Bristol for a uni open day. Uh, yeah, just quite a lot of stuff has been going on I guess and popped into a few shops whilst we've been away. So largely the things I'm sharing are sort of stationary colouring related things. I don't actually have any books to share with you. Um, I haven't had many books actually in my hauls recently and that's just because I haven't got round to the new ones yet that I've been sent um, or that I have bought and I want to get round to them but also there are um, some that I'm really interested in getting they're just quite expensive and I may get them at some point but you know books are expensive as are supplies but um, uh, yeah I've just kind of been focusing on what I've got at the moment and in time I will um, get some more you'll have to excuse me as well I'm not feeling the best for some reason I had a cold got over it quite quickly and now I've got a sore throat and cough so <clears throat> I'm hoping that it's going to get better, but um, yeah, I'm not quite feeling myself. And I'm also filming this a little bit early because I just know that when I actually have this uploaded, I'm going to be very busy in the last couple of days before my piano exams. So I thought I would just film it early. I know I'm not really going to get anything else in the last couple of days of May, uh, of June even, sorry. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd film it now. So I'm actually going to share with you a couple of things that I bought in May that didn't arrive so these technically don't count in the June haul but um, I'll share them with you anyway so I purchased whoops, grab it. I purchased some open stock pencils from um, Black Widow well Albert on his Facebook page sells them open stock and I had heard about this and I was in need of some. So I contacted him, it was really easy to do. You just send a message and tell him the pencils that you want and how much, um, I think they're roughly, oh, maybe like two, two US dollars a pencil, maybe even less than that. I wanna say maybe 180 or something, something like that, and then the shipping. But I managed to get nine, nine or 10 pencils, I can't remember exactly and it came to just over £20 which was a very good deal considering they are you know specific open stock pencils they were ones that I needed and it's a lot cheaper than going about buying the big sets and you know um doing it that way so it's a very very good deal and you know actually very very inexpensive so yeah I got nine so I think the shipping was cheaper if you got up to 10 pencils. So that was what I decided to do. <clears throat> and these are the pencils that I got that I use all the time and really did need um, replacements of. And as you can see, most of them are the Monarch pencils, apart from Dark Knight from the Dragon set, which I've been going through really quickly. So I needed to get a replacement of this. But yeah, all of them are the Monarchs, which I think does say how much I really do like um, these sets. Um, I like all the pencils, but these particularly I really like. So I've got Washed Green, Grey Slate, Mushroom, Iceberg, Cat's Eye, which I use all the time, Light Pink, Poison and Ice Cream. So you can kind of tell sort of the palette that I go for with some of these pencils. But yeah, that is um, that. And I do just want to say as well, the shipping was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Came about two weeks um from australia which was really quick albert did say it could take up to six weeks so i was very impressed and he was very quick to respond i was a bit slow to respond sometimes but um i really appreciated him staying in contact with me about them and yeah very very helpful i definitely buy some more from him again and i know that i will be and moving on to the other thing that i ordered in may um i got this which is if you can guess from the um the slogan I guess treat people with kindness this is a Harry Styles wash bag but I'm kind of using it as a pencil case sort of thing um I ordered some merch from his website because I went to see him at the Capital Summertime Ball this year and I really I love his music I think as an artist he's he's absolutely amazing and just his albums in general he's got such a diverse um 
you know, range of music. I absolutely love it. And I really wanted to get this and it's so cute. I love it. It's got orange on one side, mint green on the other. Um, I've also got a Treat People Kindness keyring that my mum has put away um, to give me as a present. And also I got a mint green sort of, it's like a sweatshirt and I wore it and um, it's got a black and white picture of him on the front and I wore it for the sometime ball and luckily because we were undercover in the shade I didn't get too warm but I love it I love it and it's a new album it's just amazing I could go on forever I need to do a colouring chat to update you about everything that I've done because as I said I've been up to quite a lot and I haven't really managed to do a colouring chat for a while anyway I've just got stuff that I'm working with at the moment some tools and things some pencils really good just to take for a couple of days away if I don't want to take a whole pencil set and I love it I really really love it so that's um it took they took quite a while to arrive I'm gonna lie it was from the UK store and took about two weeks and I'm not sure why but um yeah I love it I really love it and I don't really have any big sort of pencil case bags like that so I think it's um really good just to you know put a few things in and, and use <clears throat> okay so moving on to things that I got in Devon something that's not colouring related at all I just wanted to share I guess the other thing wasn't really but um I think I mentioned this before in one of my hauls I, I might have been a haul in a vlog in a Devon vlog but this is um from the National Trust called Colton Fishacre and it's beautiful if you're ever in Devon really recommend going the cliff views are stunning and this is the only place ever that I've found this company actually in any shop you can get their stuff online but this is Heathcote and Ivory and their um, uh, by the sea scent is so beautiful and this is the body wash and they come in lots of different things you can get like body lotions and scrubs and things but oh, this is just amazing it smells like the sea I know it says by the sea it really is it's just got such a lovely scent I can't really describe it I'm not entirely sure how to describe it apart from the fact that it just reminds me of being near the sea literally so it's done a very good job with the scent um it's got rose fire water magnesium potassium seaweed comp I mean yeah it does smell quite um salty actually but it's just it's beautiful and I really wanted to get this because I don't know if we're going back with my grandparents when we go and stay with them so I thought well I'm not gonna be able to get it it might be my only chance at half term so I'm very happy to have that so yeah you can probably find that online if you're into um like body stuff like I am and then um I went to the gazebo shop in Totnes it's one of my favorite places really like their stuff it's such a knick-knack shop and they had so much more there than when we went kind of six weeks before so I did get some more of the Cambridge imprint papers these are the Peggy Angus ones and I do have some of these um in packs already made I haven't got them up on my shop but um if you're specifically interested in some of the little paper sets um you can always send me a message and I can make sure to include one of those for, for you instead of just a random set but these are the papers that really gorgeous and they're only one pound a sheet and um, they are smaller than the other sheets that you usually get but um i'd much rather have a smaller sheet and a wider selection of colors and pay one pound each for them rather than two pound fifty so that's such a great deal they have so many papers there now and i'm so glad that they have joined the um and wagon of shops that now are selling cambridge imprint stuff because i'm here for it i just love their stuff their website is amazing and just the things I create with them, I love creating things with these and um, just basically everything on my shop is Cambridge Imprint um, and I just love their designs. So these are specific sort of limited edition si um, designs and they're so pretty. <clears throat> and then the other things I got were uh, Sarah Francis washi tape. Again, this wasn't here when um, we last went and they've got a lot more I oh, just ended up ripping the box oh well this is a B1 and it's so pretty all of these little illustrations of different bees I really like this one and it's just a very nice simple one 
to to put on things and again i love washi tapes i really do and there were so many i could have got in there but i was trying to resist and you know not buy too many and the other thing that i got were these and i've never seen these before these were new and these are paper clips and i don't have many um paper clips the only paper clips i really have are you know normal boring paper clips um sometimes i make my own and put like a little washi tape flag thing on the end of them um and i have made them with cambridge imprint papers in the past but really i just use normal ones but i thought these would be so beautiful to use for various things and um i love them so they're sort of i don't really know what material they are um i don't know it says they're made of paper i don't know what pp means i'll have to look into them but um they're definitely not plastic they they sort of feel like they are but i know that they're they're not um because it doesn't feel quite like that but yeah they're just seem like they'd be really secure just to put some um paper in between put them on my bullet gel and things like that but i love the colors as well they're not sort of um really expected colors i like the fact that there are some in there that are a bit different and i think they're beautiful so they had some more of these as well they had like a rabbit one and things like that but again i was you know not wanting to buy too much and if we go i know we'll definitely go to top mess again so um just trying not to um get too much uh the thing that i'm so excited about that i got probably one of my favorite things um i just i love it it's this beautiful painted stone i'm not sure exactly what the artist has used and i forgot to take a picture of the information about the artist i will have to go back to the gallery and find out because i just feel so bad not actually being able to um give credit to the artist um there wasn't a lot of info actually there so i yeah i don't know who it is but i feel really bad but this is just stunning and uh, i went into this gallery because there were some art supplies and stuff but i was immediately drawn to this and i kind of had a moment where i was like you know what i just i really love this and it feels like i don't know it sort of felt to me like this is the first time that i'm buying something to display if you know what i mean like this is the sort of thing that i would buy to put in my house one day if i have one it was like buying a piece of artwork just it, i love it and the fact that someone has painted this i could never do this sort of thing um i love it and yeah just the fact that i pay for it for by myself and i have it now um to put wherever i want i just I, I love it and i've got it on my desk at the moment and i look at it all the time she had a few others but this was my favorite and um there may even be some new ones there potentially when i next go but it just made me feel quite mature, I guess, just, you know, buying a form of artwork. And I just can't wait to, you know, keep using it and putting it in places because I just think it's absolutely beautiful. And I love bees and I really like the colour palette of it. So I will try and find out who the artist was and go back when we when we go in the summer. So I really do want to give credit to the artist, but um, it might be acrylic i think it must be acrylic and then there's a glaze over the top of it as well and the fact that it's a one of a kind thing as well she only had one of each so i'm very very excited to have that and i feel so happy that i that i have it um i just couldn't leave it behind i really love it so that's that put it back and then i got a few things at whistlefish i'm not gonna lie the last time i've been going to some of the whistlefish shops they haven't had many wrapping papers things like that and um, they've taken quite a lot of stuff away they don't really have many notebooks anymore which is a shame they've got loads of pretty cards but they did have a few things um, that were new <coughs> excuse me so they had some tins on sale this was two pounds and it's massive um, I know it says Cornwall on it but we've actually been to the St Ives one so I do still have a connection to it they didn't have any Devon ones I would have got the Devon one if they'd had a Devon one but um, the design is still really gorgeous and the ribbon sort of design around the side is very pretty um and yeah some of the tins that were sort of even smaller were six pounds and i don't know why these were on sale maybe because they said cornwall instead of devon and we were in the sulcum store which is in devon i don't know but um 
I will definitely be using this to put stuff in. I'm not sure exactly what yet, it could be for so many different things, but um, it's a very good size and it just goes with my sort of aesthetic and things that I like and I love their designs and um, I just think it's very pretty, love the colour palette. So that was that. And then the only new wrapping paper they, that they had that I really liked was this one. And they are £1.85 per um, set, so you get two sheets per set. So I got um, two just because, again, I don't know if they will have it. They don't generally stock up their um, their wrapping papers that often. So I just thought, well, I've seen it. Let's get some. So, um, yeah, you've got the lovely seahorse design on one side. And these shells, which are so beautiful as well. I love all of the artwork that they have. Um, I haven't decided yet whether I might... Uh, make these into stickers because they'd be very easy to cut around especially these biggest um seahorses here they'd be absolutely fine and the shells would be easy to um to cut around or whether i'll just use them for creating like i do but i haven't i don't think i bought any of the wrapping papers since last year because they just haven't had any new ones so i hope that there are more on the way fingers crossed um they have so many on their website it's just you know i want to actually see if they they are in the shops first before going on there but really like that it kind of goes with the tin as well so that's that so that's what I got in Devon and then I went on a trip the other day for um English we went to Stratford upon Avon and so I got a couple of Shakespeare inspired things it has really made me want to um get a copy of the Escape to Shakespeare's Wonderland book again because I had that about five years ago and there are some pictures that I really want to redo in it, so I'm not sure I might. Um, but it really inspired me. I was like, you know what? I'm really excited to study Measure for Measure now next year for um, for English. So <clears throat> we went to see Richard the Third. So we're not studying Richard the Third, but it was by far my favourite Shakespeare I've ever seen. It was hilarious. We went on preview night, and I'm just so glad I was there. And I could say that I was there for preview night, and the jokes were just on point. It was so funny. And I got an RSC, this is the Royal Shakespeare Company, um, uh, tote bag. These were £3, so I've got lots of his sayings on one side. And also, I love Matilda the Musical, and RSC set up Matilda. So I'm really pleased that I've got um, a tote bag from them. I use these for, you know, I use them all the time. I love tote bags. I prefer them to handbags, to be honest. Because um, they just, they fit more in. And um, they're just, yeah, they're ideal um, for putting a few colouring things in and then I got some postcards so from the RSC shop which was where the theatre was I got a few of these Stratford upon Avon sort of skyline postcards uh, I think it's like a digital art thing but I've given one to my parents and I've got a couple more they were like 80p each really pretty and then these um, were by an artist now does it say oh no it doesn't say her her details on it doesn't, oh yeah, Louisa Hare. So these are printed uh, with blocks like they would have been however many years ago. And they were a bit more expensive, but they're on lovely cards and so many of us were getting these. So this is the Much Do About Nothing one. I loved that. And then the Romeo and Juliet one uh, with the monk and the flowers. That, that was really pretty as well. I didn't really like the Macbeth and the um, Richard the Third ones as much. I was going to get those just to have but they you know they were a bit more expensive so I decided not to and also got a 12th night one which I loved and they didn't have this in the postcard form so I got it in the card form I'm not sure if I will send these I'll probably just end up keeping them and you know they'd be lovely to frame and they're just so pretty I'm again this is just the sort of thing I absolutely love and they lured all of us in like the amount of us that were buying these it's crazy um okay and then we went to Bristol for an open day as I said <coughs> got a couple of things i am not choosing the uni place that i want to apply based on the art shops but i have to say the art shops were pretty good in bristol um, they had two pretty much right next to each other including a cass art which is online and i've ordered from them before online and i'm pretty sure i i didn't even realize they have actual cass art stores so um yeah it was really good and they had some sales on but i went to um i think these are from the Casa, yeah, the two empty washi tapes. Again, I've never seen these before, so these were new designs. This one's got 
lots of lovely animals on it. This is one of the MT Kids ones, so they tend to be sort of educational, which I really like. Um, so slightly less tape on that one, but that one's really pretty. And then this one, which sort of reminded me of Gustav Klimt. Um, so the block colours. And then she gave me a free um, Pro Colour as well. Even though I'd only bought those two things. Yeah, she um, gave me a free Pro Colour, which is Prussian Blue. And I haven't really... I haven't got any of these, I think, apart from... I think I bought a Dark Indigo. But um, yeah, it works really well. And that was very nice for her because these were like £3 each. So I felt a bit bad, but I wasn't going to say no. Um, and then... Well, oh, yeah. And then the other store they had was more of a stationery store rather than an art store. I needed, desperately, another pigment liner, the Statler pigment liner, because mine well you know fine line is they just wear down so much and i needed another one because i use it for my bullet journal all the time <clears throat> i'm very happy that i managed to get that and then i got a jelly roll glaze but this is a white one so i'm not sure if you can see i have got my normal glaze just to put up against it this is the clear glaze and this is the white glaze and it actually is white so what happens is you put it down like a glaze and it looks clear and translucent when it dries it's white and that really intrigued me because if you want something a bit more subtle than a white gel pen, but still sort of visible, I would say go for this. Um, I have used it on a page, so I'll try and share it in my uh, completed pages. I haven't filmed that yet. I'm filming this in advance first, as I said. But yeah, I used it and I'm really impressed with it. Um, I don't have many of the glaze pens. I have a, um, a grey one, but I love all of the jelly roll pens in general and they're so expensive but um i would love to collect more in the future but yeah there are those and then finally things um, that i got in london so as i said i went to london once to go to summertime ball but we didn't do any shopping because summertime ball was very long and then i also went to see jodie comer's play on closing night prima facie which was just amazing i'm gonna have to do a kind of chat because i really just need to get all of this off my chest and tell you about it because it was amazing um but yeah my my dad and I went and had pretty much the whole day shopping because it was an evening performance so I needed to get um a couple of books for English and stuff and um went out for lunch at Peaceham Nurseries which is beautiful and yeah we went to the London Graphic Design Centre love it and they had so I wasn't planning on getting a notebook or anything, but they had people doing the lettering on um, <clears throat> on the notebooks for free. And I thought, well, I could get my bullet journal for 2023 in advance. I know it's six months away, but the first six months of this year have gone so quickly. I thought, why not? My dad got one for his business. So this is the one that I have. And this is an actual bullet journal um, that I, I'm going to pronounce it wrong. Lichtem. I don't know if that's right but this is the one that I have and this is the one that I bought so they are exactly the same this is the sort of premium edition it's got better paper it's got 120 gram paper and look they have actually put my name on it for free which is so cool I just think it's so cool and I've got it in bronze and I'm really looking forward to using it next year it does still have the bullet journal dots and I love the green colour I think it's stunning I'll probably change my colour palette around a bit so that I might do green and pink for this one, but still my same sort of thing. But just the fact that you're basically paying the 20 quid or whatever it is for the notebook, partly for, for this. And they were really efficient as well. And you could get whatever you wanted on it, not just your name. Um, and they're going to look so good together. I, I love bullet journaling and keeping all of my colouring stuff organised. And I was really glad that, I mean they were there for one day and it happened to be the day that we were in London which was just which was amazing because otherwise it would have been quite difficult to do that sort of thing the only other place I know that did that was the Wilbys Emporium in Solcombe but they are they're very expensive notebooks I think they're like 40 pounds and these are just so handy they are I've been waiting so long to try and find a bullet journal that's that's really good and that I really like and the paper in this is perfect just everything I love it so um they're gonna look so good together and very excited to have that for 2023 and then the last thing i have to share with you is again something that i didn't even know they were selling there and i can't remember the last time we went to london i have a feeling 
Hmm. I think it was around my birthday in November. But we went to London Graphic then and um, they didn't have them. But I think they've just started selling them open stock. So I got a few erosion tip and pencils. Now, I, I think the only place I'd seen them before was Cult Pens. And I checked again and they also sell them on Colour Pencil Shop and a few other places. But I've never seen them actually in real life. And they were a very good price. And I think they were two twenty five each on Cult Pens. They're two pounds each. So, you know, give or take a little bit. And I love them. Honestly, they are, they're one of those pencils that just layer so well. And because they're harder as, as well to use, they, uh, well, no, they're not harder to use. Sorry, what I mean is the lead is harder. So you don't have to layer as much to get rid of the white space. And I use them um, with my Black Widow pencils on a page of my Reese Burn books. Love them in the Reese Burn books. I would happily use them. So I would really like to start sort of slowly collecting these as well. Um, I've also sort of been collecting the luminance here and there. I'm more than halfway with those and the colours that I have, I love. And I probably will end up getting the, the others open stock at some point. But I'm really content with the, the colours that I have. And these have some really unusual colour tones. These are just stunning. And I just think that they would complement my other sets so well. And they had all of the colours. I think they hadn't... I think there are 100 in the set. They must have had 90 or more there. But buying the sets um, as sets, it's a very, very, they're very expensive doing it that way. I mean, I know it's more expensive in the long run buying them open stock, but I think I probably will just do them open stock because I can't really afford to just get the sets. <clears throat> Excuse me. So these are the colours that I chose very subtle beautiful colors and as i said i've really used them so i really really love how they work i'm sure if you can see that they're the colors i chose and yeah i probably will be buying a few more of these in the future not, probably individually and not as sets but i love them and then i also got a diamond blender pencil because Sorry, no, I meant Caran Um, the Caran blender. These are fantastic. And I do need to get some Prisma blenders uh, at some point. I, they're getting quite expensive now, but um, my other blender is running out and I do use these a lot. So I got one of those. So I'm very happy to have found those somewhere. And, you know, actually in the flesh, so I could choose the colours. The only problem was they weren't sharpened. So I had to go by what the lead looked like rather than the barrel because the barrel isn't always completely accurate but I love these pencils I really do and if any of you also have original I'd love to know what you think about them because first impressions I really like them and for a harder pencil I think they will they will suit me quite well um, and go with my other sets hopefully so really impressed with those and I think that's everything I have to share with you quite a lot as you can tell and lots of it is stationary related but I feel really lucky to be able to got these things and of course a few of the things I had ordered last month and they didn't come so technically I didn't spend quite as much but I still yeah just there were so many things that I was doing this month just ended up also spending quite a lot I'm sure that July won't really be the be the case although we will see but yeah, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I really enjoy hearing from you in the comments. I um, really appreciate it. And thank you for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.